There are lots of reasons to get a different waste hauler and a new contract. Maybe your service provider is awful, maybe you're sick of missed pickups, or maybe they've raised your service fees one too many times. Point is, you're done and you're ready to move on to greener pastures. To get a new waste hauler, you're gonna need to do a few things. You're gonna need to let your hauler know that you're terminating service. This is applicable only after determining that there are other waste hauler options in your area. You're also gonna need to make a list of things to ask potential haulers. You're gonna need to get new bids from new haulers, compare those bids, and then set up a new contract. Getting a new hauler can seem like a daunting process, but these step-by-step -step instructions will show you exactly what to do. Make a list of things to ask potential waste haulers. Before you do anything else, make a list of everything that bothers you about your current waste management situation. Do you want someone who will promptly pick up your trash? Do you want a contract that precludes any price spikes? Whatever concerns you have, you want to make sure that they don't become a part of your new contract going forward. Once you have a list, you can then ask potential haulers about their approach and ask what issues you have that they can resolve. Whoever your partner will be will need to be willing to listen to your needs and act accordingly. To find other area waste haulers, try googling waste haulers near me. Contact them and ask them to provide bids for services for your locations. You'll need to tell them a few things. The number of locations you have, the types of equipment at each site and their size, how frequently each site and equipment should get serviced. Most sales representatives will get back to you with estimates in under a week. If it takes longer, you might want to look elsewhere. You want to go over your list of service issues or questions you have with the haulers and see what their responses are. Asking questions will root out any bad apples. The more bids you have, the more you can compare services and find the one that's right for you. You'll obviously compare prices, but you'll also need to compare service levels don't want to go with the cheapest option if they have an awful service record. After you have found and identified a new service provider, you'll need to let your current provider know that you are terminating your contract with them on a specific date. You may have to pay a termination fee, something you can find out more about on your contract, so be prepared for that in advance. A typical termination fee for prior, this prior to the expiration date is the average of the most six months of invoices times six. So if you pay $1,000 a month, you'll owe your hauler $6,000. This may sound like a lot, but for many companies, this is actually the less expensive option in the long run. Your new hauler will send over a service contract for you to look over. This is when you'll want to insist on certain language being put in. Go back and look at your list of priorities. Make sure that each of them are included in your new contract. Do you want to learn more about how we evaluate and fix our clients' waste worries or how you can stop overspending on waste disposal? Check out our blog or give us a call today.